In the annals of dinosaur research, few species ignite as much curiosity and debate as the Spinosaurus. It is not merely one of the largest carnivores. It is a creature whose discoveries have repeatedly overturned dinosaur science norms. When Ernst Stromer first described neural spines towering over 5.4 feet tall in 1915, he could never have imagined the century of controversy that would follow. Why would such a massive dinosaur opt for a largely aquatic existence? And why do the fragmented, mysterious pieces of evidence about it force scientists to constantly reevaluate every assumption Spinosaurus is more than just a creature of the past. It is a testament to the complexity and the enduring surprises that the ancient world still holds. But this story of scientific uncertainty begins with a tragedy that would haunt paleontology for decades. What happens when the most important piece of evidence for understanding a dinosaur vanishes in a single night of war? The story of Spinosaurus begins with a tragedy that would haunt paleontology for generations. In 1912, German paleontologist Ernst S. A. Schromer made what seemed like a routine discovery in Egypt's Baharia formation. Working under the scorching desert sun, his team uncovered fossilized remains that would later be designated as the holotype specimen of Spinosaurus aegyptiacus. Stromer spent years meticulously studying these bones, carefully measuring and documenting each fragment. The centerpiece was a towering neural spine that stretched an incredible 5.4 feet in height, along with distinctive jaw fragments and vertebrae that clearly belonged to something unlike any known dinosaur. The painstaking work of describing this new species took Stromer through detailed anatomical analysis. He recognized that the elongated snout and conical teeth suggested a fish-eating lifestyle, while those massive neural spines indicated a sail-like structure on the creature's back. His published descriptions and hand-drawn illustrations became the foundation for understanding this mysterious predator. The original fossils were housed in Munich's Alte Academie, where they represented the only complete evidence of what Spinosaurus actually looked like. Then came the fateful night of April 24, 1944. Allied bombers targeted Munich during a strategic raid and incendiary bombs reduced the museum to rubble. In mere hours, irreplaceable scientific history vanished forever. The towering neural spine that defined the species, the distinctive jaw fragments that revealed its diet, and the vertebrae that showed its unique body plan were all reduced to ash and debris. This catastrophic loss left paleontologists with only Stromer's original drawings and measurements. No physical specimens remained for comparison or further study. Scientists found themselves working from sketches and notes trying to reconstruct one of the most important dinosaur discoveries of the early 20th century from memory and documentation alone. The information vacuum created by this loss forced researchers to rely on fragmentary new discoveries from Morocco's Chem Chem beds. Each isolated tooth vertebra or skull fragment sparked fresh interpretations. But without the original holotype specimen, scientists couldn't definitively determine which bones actually belonged to Spinosaurus. This led to conflicting species designations and competing theories about the animal's anatomy. The absence of baseline evidence created the perfect storm for scientific controversy. Every new discovery became a potential game changer, precisely because there was no original rate of specimen to provide a definitive comparison. The destruction eliminated our fundamental understanding of Spinosaurus transforming future findings into sources of heated debate rather than clarifying evidence. Scientists would spend decades attempting to fill this void with, with new discoveries that would only deepen the mystery surrounding this enigmatic predator. In 2014, a single fossil discovery in Morocco's desert would force scientists to completely reimagine how the largest predatory dinosaur moved across the earth. Nizar Ibrahim and his international team approached the FSAT KK11888 specimen with standard expectations for a massive theropod discovery. They anticipated finding the characteristic anatomy of a giant bipedal hunter with powerful hind limbs supporting its enormous frame like other apex predators of the Mesozoic. 
The partial subadult skeleton from Morocco's Chem Chem beds contained cervical vertebrae, dorsal vertebrae, neural spines, a complete sacrum femora tibiae, pedal phalanges, caudal vertebrae, several dorsal ribs, and skull fragments. This wealth of material promised to fill crucial gaps in understanding Spinosaurus anatomy. However, when the team analyzed the proportions, they encountered something that defied every assumption about large carnivorous dinosaurs. The hind limbs were shockingly short and appeared inadequate for supporting the animal's massive weight during bipedal locomotion. These proportions were so drastically different from expected theropod anatomy that researchers initially questioned whether the bones actually belonged to the same individual. The femora and tibia suggested an animal poorly adapted for the upright striding gait that characterized all known large theropods. This unexpected anatomy led Ibrahim's team to propose a radical hypothesis that sent shockwaves through paleontology. Rather than walking upright on two legs, Spinosaurus might have been an obligate quadruped moving across land on all fours like a massive crocodile. The short muscular hind limbs and smaller hip bones suggested an animal that had essentially abandoned the bipedal lifestyle that defined its theropod relatives. The paleontological community reacted with immediate skepticism and heated criticism. Experts questioned the specimen's integrity, arguing that the bones might not represent accurate proportions due to preservation issues or growth stage uh, variations. Others challenged the scaling methods used to reconstruct the full animal from the subadult remains, suggesting the team had made incorrect assumptions about body proportions. This single discovery attacked a fundamental principle that had guided theropod research for over a century. All large carnivorous dinosaurs were assumed to be bipedal hunters from Allosaurus to Tyrannosaurus rex. The suggestion that one of the largest predatory dinosaurs might crawl on four legs represented a complete departure from established evolutionary patterns. The scientific community struggled to accept such a revolutionary interpretation. The debate intensified as researchers examined the evidence, with some defending traditional bipedal reconstructions, while others embraced the possibility of quadrupedal locomotion. The 2014 discovery had effectively rewritten the rules of theropod anatomy, suggesting that even fundamental assumptions about dinosaur locomotion might be wrong. The short hind limbs suggested this giant predator might have abandoned the bipedal lifestyle that defined its relatives opening questions about how such a massive animal actually moved through its environment. This locomotion controversy would soon be overshadowed by an even more dramatic anatomical revelation that would emerge from the depths of Morocco's ancient riverbeds. Six years after the walking controversy, scientists uncovered an anatomical feature so extraordinary that it suggested Spinosaurus lived more like a crocodile than any dinosaur ever discovered. Nizar Ibrahim and his team returned to Morocco's fossil-rich deposits with expectations of finding typical theropod tail vertebrae. They anticipated discovering the standard narrow laterally compressed tail structure that characterized terrestrial predatory dinosaurs throughout the Mesozoic era. The 2020 discovery shattered those expectations completely. The team uncovered a nearly complete tale that defied everything paleontologists knew about theropod anatomy. Instead of the expected rigid narrow structure, they found elongated neural spines and chevron bones that created a distinctly flattened paddle-like appendage. This tail morphology was unlike anything seen in terrestrial dinosaurs, resembling instead the swimming organs of modern crocodilians and other aquatic predators. The research team immediately recognized the significance of this unique structure and initiated comprehensive biomechanical experiments. They tested the tail's swimming efficiency against modern crocodilians and other aquatic animals, measuring thrust generation and hydrodynamic performance. The results were remarkable. The Spinosaurus tail generated eight times more forward thrust than the tails of terrestrial theropods like Calophysis and Allosaurus, while achieving twice the efficiency at producing forward momentum underwater. This discovery provided the missing piece of evidence that researchers had been seeking for decades. Earlier theories about Spinosaurus's fish-eating behavior and semi-aquatic lifestyle had relied primarily on skull morphology, particularly the crocodile-like snout and conical teeth. The paddle tail finally offered concrete anatomical proof that this massive predator could generate significant thrust underwater, enabling active aquatic pursuit of prey rather than passive wading. 
The paleontological community responded with excitement as this seemed to finally solve the long-standing Spinosaurus puzzle. The paddle-like structure supported a lifestyle comparable to modern alligators and crocodiles, suggesting this dinosaur remained in water for extended periods while hunting. The tail's unique morphology indicated that Spinosaurus had evolved specialized adaptations for an aquatic environment fundamentally different from its terrestrial theropod relatives. Scientists began piecing together a complete picture of an animal that had abandoned traditional dinosaur hunting strategies. The combination of the crocodile-like skull-short hind limbs and now the paddle tail suggested a predator perfectly adapted for riverine environments. This discovery marked a watershed moment in dinosaur paleontology as researchers finally had tangible evidence supporting the revolutionary idea of a swimming dinosaur. The paddle-like tail revealed Spinosaurus as the first known swimming dinosaur capable of active aquatic pursuit rather than simple wading or fishing from shorelines. Supporting evidence would soon emerge from an unexpected source that would examine the very composition of the bones themselves. Just when scientists thought they had solved the Spinosaurus mystery, a heated debate erupted over whether this massive predator could actually survive underwater hunting. In 2022, Matteo Fabri's team published groundbreaking research in Nature that analyzed bone cross-sections from 250 species of extinct and living animals. Their findings revealed that Spinosaurus exhibited osteosclerosis, an unusually high bone density similar to diving animals like penguins and manatees. This dense bone structure appeared throughout the skeleton higher than any non-avian dinosaur studied and exceeding the bone density of large terrestrial animals like elephants or rhinos. The bone density discovery seemed to provide the missing link that confirmed Spinosaurus as an active underwater hunter. Dense bones would have allowed this massive predator to control its buoyancy while diving and pursuing prey beneath the surface, functioning as biological ballast that prevented the animal from floating helplessly at the water's surface. This finding appeared to validate the swimming dinosaur hypothesis with hard anatomical evidence. However, the paleontological community immediately fired back with devastating counter-arguments. Donald Henderson challenged the diving conclusions by calculating the physics of Spinosaurus buoyancy. His mathematical models showed that the animal's lung placement and body proportions would have made effective diving nearly impossible. According to Henderson's calculations, Spinosaurus would have struggled to sink due to air-filled cavities in its body, requiring constant paddling with its hind legs just to stay upright in water. David Hone and Thomas Holtz expanded these criticisms by examining additional anatomical limitations. They pointed to the ventrally positioned nostrils that would have made breathing difficult while swimming, the seemingly rigid trunk that would have reduced swimming efficiency, and the scarcely muscled tail that couldn't generate sustained propulsion. These features suggested a predator poorly adapted for active aquatic pursuit, contradicting the diving hypothesis despite the paddle-like tail structure. The controversy deepened in 2024 when Nathan Mirvold and colleagues published a statistical reanalysis that challenged the bone density conclusions directly. Their research highlighted significant methodological issues that undermine the conclusions of the original study. Mirvold's team argued that the dense bones resulted from structural necessity rather than buoyancy control, explaining that Spinosaurus needed extra bone strength to support its massive weight on relatively short hind limbs. Each study provided compelling evidence, yet reached completely opposite conclusions about Spinosaurus diving abilities. The scientific community found itself unable to reach consensus despite mounting evidence from biomechanics, anatomy, and bone microstructure. The physics of buoyancy and breathing suggests this giant may have been too awkward to be an effective aquatic predator, leading scientists to propose a completely different hunting strategy that would reconcile these conflicting pieces of evidence. The emerging consensus points toward a more measured interpretation of this ancient predator's behavior. Recent studies suggest Spinosaurus hunted more like a patient heron than an aggressive crocodile adopting a wading lifestyle, where it stood in shallow water and plucked fish with its long snout. This approach combines its aquatic adaptations with the limitations of its massive size. The crocodile-like skull and conical teeth 
perfectly supported this shoreline feeding strategy similar to modern wading birds that stand motionless before striking. Spinosaurus represents the dynamic nature of paleontological science where each discovery fundamentally reshapes our understanding of ancient life. This 100 million year old predator continues challenging our assumptions about what dinosaurs could be proving the ancient world still holds surprises that can revolutionize science.